what are you supposed to do if you can't fit in your airline seat? We've talked about this before. Do you have to buy an extra one? Well, it turns out some airlines like Southwest <laughs> have a very body inclusive uh, b body positivity oh. inclusivity policy. Here is a plus size traveler explaining it all. Take a look. Southwest actually offers two different ways to get a free extra seat if you need one because of your body size. Option one, pay for two seats up front just to reserve two seats for you on the plane. And then once your trip is over, call Southwest's customer service number and they'll refund you for that extra seat even if the flight was full. Option two, just buy one ticket and then go to the airport when it's time for your flight. At the gate, let the agent know that you need an extra seat because of your size. Wow. I mean, here's a solution because we have talked about this. What do you think, Erica? Well, I think that this is a solution that offers dignity to people for sure. And because of that, they'll likely benefit in dollars and cents. I also, also think that it speaks to where our society is in terms of body size, because an airline is not going to make a move to allocate two seats to one person or three seats to one person if there wasn't a reason that would be advance them in some way. So I think this is a great way of doing it. Um, I think you can pre-board, get your seats situated. Hopefully you have a seat if you get there. And I don't see how it really affects a ton of other people other than the idea of there being a couple of extra seats that aren't available. I would say it affects some people. Those are the stockholders of Southwest. And I think in terms of a policy for us people, and for making uh, passengers feel seen and not be embarrassed getting on a flight, I think it's a great idea. But these companies, we always talk about it, they don't have any emotion and stockholders don't care about inclusivity. So why do you think the stock, why would they have agreed to implement this policy if they thought that it was going to affect I, their I think line? they're still rebuilding the image from the disaster that was the holidays a couple of years ago when people didn't get their bags and get home. I think that really damaged their stock and I think they need something that's a, a buzzword in our society, inclusive body positivity and I think this is a good story for them and I think it's a great solution I'm just wondering about the sustainability because we're talking about one passenger what if there's five passengers per flight they have, so that you have to refund five seats per hundreds of flights a day thousands and thousands a year that's gonna add up they stopped giving out you know, uh, to, olives in the martini. Well, so eventually, olives in the martini yeah, they yeah, can save yeah. millions. Yeah, yeah. Just by yeah. yeah. in their the salads. They, really, they really, yeah, and they, yeah, they, they do. They really photo, cut back on remember everything. Remember that photo we posted of all the people taking advantage of the disabled yes. front yeah. of the line. Right. So how many people are going to take advantage of this, do you think? Yeah, that was my whole point. They're going to definitely take advantage of it, but you can't stop that, right? You're trying, right. It's, it's terms in terms of dollars and cents, they're going to lose money because of this thing. But they're going to gain money, like me, that, hey, this is an airline that I want to fly. It's, I'm notorious for bashing airlines. And as far as airlines go, Southwest, to me, is the most people-friendly airline that, that is optional out there. I just flew them from the staff to how they deal with you to giving your money back to the cheapest flights. I think they're more worried about customer service than they are their stockholders, which isn't a great business model, but in today's day and age, it goes a long way. It really so would. what they're doing, I know people are gonna take advantage. I'm six foot, 200 pounds. I barely fit in those seats, right? So there's gonna be people that are taller, like, hey, I need two seats, I want, look at what they just did with the dogs on the plane. People just ran away with that. So they're gonna do the same thing here, but I like that an airline is putting people first rather than money. So shout out to Southwest. Shout out. All right. Wow.